Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have a bunch of new stuff from Dollar General. Well, I say new, I don't actually know how new this stuff is. Most of it's new to me though. I actually have already made a video on Believe Beauty. It was like the second video that I ever posted to my channel. Not the second video that I ever made because I made several videos before I ever posted anything publicly on YouTube. I remember having this like irrational fear that if I post a video to YouTube that it's just gonna be like everyone who ever bullied me in high school would be the first people to watch it and comment. <laughs> so it took me a really long time to muster up the courage to post something to YouTube. Anyways, completely irrelevant, but I'm circling back around. That was about two years ago, by the way, was when I posted that video. I can't believe it's been that long already. But I was in Dollar General the other day, just trying to re-up on some of my favorite matte liquid lipsticks. I have talked about these quite extensively on my channel. They've been my favorite for such a long time. So of course we're gonna use it today, but this is their Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. It is an exceptional liquid lipstick formula. Not just drugstore liquid lipstick, but like liquid lipstick period. It's one of my all time favorites. So anyways, I noticed a few things that I hadn't seen before, such as this cream blush from Believe Beauty. So this is kind of like the main dish for the day that I'm most excited to try. But I did pick up a few other things and I actually wanna start on my eyes today. So the last time that I did a Believe Beauty video, I had an eyeshadow palette, not this one, it was a different one, and I hated it. I remember it not going well at all. So we're gonna do like a round two, maybe redemption story for Believe Beauty and their eyeshadow palette. I thought this was a really cute fall kind of color story. And also I picked up this Believe Beauty metallic liquid eyeliner. Doesn't that look like a really fun color? Doesn't that look like a really fun color? So anyways, we're gonna start with the eyeshadow palette. We're gonna start on the eyes. So this is their Love Struck eyeshadow palette. I don't know, should I swatch them? I guess, let me swatch them. Ah, wow. This one, oh my gosh. Hi, I guess Believe Beauty came to play today. I'll have to look around and see if I can find that other palette that I had because I really didn't like it. But that was like quite a while ago that I had tried that one. Anyways. Gorge. Very cute. Okay, I do want to use a, a little bit of this kind of like taupe matte that's up here. I'm just gonna kind of run it through the tr the trees as the run it through the crease as a little transition moment. Okay, this one's a little messy. This shade's really not doing much for me. It's really hard for me to not want to tap the excess of my brush off, but I'll try going in with just like some product on the brush, see if that does anything. Okay, there we go. It's starting to come out. Looking a little, little gray. Oh, okay. You can barely see that. I mean, it is basically like the same exact color as my skin tone. So it's not that big of a deal, but. Moving right along though, I'm gonna next go into this kind of pinky magenta type shade. It's swatched really nicely. It's this one. So, oops, shoot. I'm thinking this ought to be pretty good. really cute. Amazing. I'm gagged. I am gooped. I can't believe how beautiful this shade is. 
and how easy it was. I mean, it blended like an absolute dream. It was one of those shadows that's just like very satisfying to blend to where I had to like tell myself, okay, you need to stop, put the brush down because we don't have time for this. And it built up really nicely. And I think I could have even like built it more if I wanted to, but this is just great where it is. Like, this is so nice. Okay lovely i look like a raccoon let's move on to the lid now i've been debating on if i want to use both of these maybe but i'm definitely gonna start with this one I'm not as obsessed with it as I had thought I would be. I think it just maybe wasn't the best match for the, the matte shade. It looks better in person though. Like I like looking at it in person better than on my camera. No big, it's pretty. That shade's very glittery. And so I do have some fallout on my face, but that's okay, because I did my eyeshadow first. So this is the Believe Beauty Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Midnight in Paris. Now, here's what it looks like. It doesn't have any kind of shaking thing in it, you know? Like my Wet n Wild has a shaker in it. So my guess is that this is going to dry out like today, probably. <laughs> But all the same, let's check it out. Wow, that's a big old felt tip. Okay. It's black. <laughs> Why is it black? I thought it was going to be like this purple color. I was going to do like a pretty like purple wing. I mean, it's not a big deal. I just, they they came in different colors. Like... They had one that looked like this, but it was green. That's confusing. Okay, whatever. I'm still gonna use it. Also, it says it's metallic. This doesn't look metallic. This looks pretty matte. <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. Let's just try it. Okay, big yikes. No, no, no. So, do you see? It's like going down, not, it's not, I'm not, no. No, 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 no. I feel catfished by this eyeliner. <laughs> Let me finish my eyes real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, please pardon my lash glue as it's still drying. The eyes are pretty individually. I like the two colors that I use. I just don't know that I'm crazy about the combo of the two happening on the lid right now. I would have gone in a different direction, maybe. But I thought that this was going to be like a kind of plum burgundy type of a shade. So I was like ready to do a really cool dramatic wing, but it's just a black eyeliner that doesn't work very well, unfortunately. <laughs> I do actually really like this palette and I want to use it again and check out some of these other metallic shades. And then of course there's that orange one that probably would look better with the bronzy shade on my lid. But anyways, so I've actually had this foundation for a while, well, a different bottle of it for like two years. So I figured it was a good opportunity to pick up a new bottle, but this is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation, medium to full coverage. I have the shade Nude. And this is a fantastic foundation. It's like a medium coverage, natural finish type of a thing. Gorgeous little pump. And I mean, it's literally like $5 at Dollar General. Like, go check it out. It's a really good foundation. And I'm excited to use it again. Cause it's kind of been a while. So I guess we'll see if I still like it. I mean, I use my Believe Beauty liquid lipsticks constantly. But it has been a while since I've used some of my other Believe Beauty makeup. No, this is still really nice. Dang. 
still such a nice foundation. It has just a really beautiful, natural finish. It's super lightweight, very comfortable on the skin. It reminds me a lot of the like Catrice True Skin Foundation, which y'all know I'm in love with. I bet you the mailman's here. Okay, now I'm really excited to try the Believe Beauty Cream Blush. First of all, doesn't it look like such a cute little shade? So they had two shades. They had this one and then one that was like a lot warmer. It almost looked kind of orange actually. I don't know if it comes in more shades than that because they only had like three at the one that I went to. So there might be more shades that I'm just not aware of. But this shade, Doll Face, of their color me clean cream <laughs> color me cream blush looks so cute cream blush has definitely been like trending lately and i am here for it now y'all know my cream blushes do have some stiff competition my favorites are of course patrick ta and beauty blender those blushes are just so good. So here's the little pot that it comes in. I reckon I'll kind of swatch it first. Ooh, it's very, Ooh, oh, 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 I think I'm gonna love this. Oh my gosh. Yes. And I cleaned my blush brushes this weekend. So I'm just gonna use my brush like I always do. I'm just gonna kind of stamp, stamp, stamp. I think it's gonna be good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my goodness. Now I have foundation on and I usually do my cream blush like over my foundation, but under my powder. And since it's going under powder, the powder is gonna kind of dilute and blur it a little bit more. So I tend to lay it down a little heavier than I ultimately want it to look, if that makes sense. Wow, that's nice. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, and it's very glowy. Oh, it's very glowy. Oh, it's, v oh, it's very glowy. <laughs> she glowy, oh my gosh. That's actually really cool. You can't really tell on camera, maybe like a little bit, but it's got this kind of like almost purpley iridescent reflect to it. Dude, this is really cute. A lot more pigmented than I was expecting but it's going down so nicely. It's being nice and easy to blend. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do I have a new favorite cream blush? I might. I bought a highlighter palette and now I'm like, I, didn't, I guess I probably won't need it. <laughs> oh, that is really fun. I'm just gonna use my Ciate London setting powder. Once upon a time, I did have a setting powder from Believe Beauty. I don't think I have it anymore though. And even if I did, it's like really old. <laughs> and it was not something that I felt like repurchasing. So anyways. Okay, so that's this side powdered. Ooh, still shining like a star, child. It's definitely kind of washed out the, the glowiness of it, which is okay, because it still looks fantastic and very glowy. And then here's this side has not been yet, not, not yet been powdered. No powder, powder. No powder, powder. Still got that.
Okay, <laughs> so I'm pretty much done. I went ahead and put on my Believe Beauty Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in my all-time favorite shade, Honey Blush. This specific product is one of my favorite makeup products of all time so far. <laughs> But yeah, I freaking love this so much. I talk about it all the time. So if you watch my channel, you're probably like, yeah, Haley, we know. I also have the shade Foxy though that I almost used. It's a gorgeous little slightly pink nude type of shade. This one Foxy works with just about anything. So normally, I mean, look at this blush. Look at this blush. Tell me you're not obsessed with it. I love it. I love the whole, I love the colors and the chin. I just love it. It's so good. Okay. But anyways, what I was going to say was normally this would be plenty of glow, plenty of life for my cheeks, but because I did also pick up this little highlighter palette from Believe Beauty, I thought I would go ahead and give it a go. I love the kind of like shape in the palette, like that kind of crystal look. It looks really neat. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm going to, I think, do a little bit of the, the lighter two. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this one, do a little bit of that one, a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one, a little bit of this one, this one, that one, this one, that one, that one, this one. <laughs> Woo! Get ready to shine. The blush was already glowy on its own. So I'm gonna have to really take it there with the highlighter to be able to like tell <laughs> that it's there and doing what it ought to be doing. Honestly, like, like I said, I'm perfectly happy with the glowiness that the blush is giving me, but dang, yeah, this highlighter's really taking it there for us, isn't it? We are glowing, we are shining, everything is so good, everything is so amazing, I'm very happy. So although the eyeliner trolled me, everything else was fantastic, and the cream blush, like the whole main reason why I picked up a bunch of Believe Beauty products and made this video, an absolute definite win. I love it. I love it, and you know what? It was $4. It was like three or $4, I can't remember exactly, but it was not more than $5, which is insanity. It's gorgeous, I love it. The eye look, they definitely redeemed themselves as far as I'm concerned with the eyeshadow, the highlighter's gorgeous. Y'all know I live for this lipstick. And I absolutely live for the foundation too, so I'm very happy with my makeup today. Let me know what you guys think about Believe Beauty. Do you have any Believe Beauty products? What's your favorite? What do you wanna try? So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, okay, bye.